explored here by the Spanish way back in 1541. Senor Hernando de Soto came around, checking out the place, trying to find gold like they found in South America. But you see, the Spanish, they didn't find any gold here. So they left. It was about a hundred years later, the French, the sure Robert Cavalier La Salle, this guy La Salle, he came all the way down the Mississippi River and he claimed for France all that land surrounding the river. So yeah, if you can envision the whole map of the United States and you carve out the middle one third of the country, yeah, you see all that land, that land was named after the Sun King, Louis the Fourteenth, Louisiana, and his mom, Anna okay. of Austria. So, yeah, right, that's how they came up with Louis, Anna, Louisiana. But the guy, the guy who gets all the credit, you know, for, for starting us officially, is uh, Monsieur Bienville. 1718 is when the city got its official start. And you see, folks, you see, that's when they laid out these streets here in the 1720s. So all the streets are, the, you know, the directions are the same as they were back then. You know, still one way, going in opposite directions, every other street. So that hasn't changed. That's still the same as they were back then. Well, let's see. Let's go up a couple more blocks. But anybody celebrating anything today? Any anniversaries, birthdays, separations, divorces? <laughs> and somebody tell me, he said, I don't know, the truck's not over yet. <laughs> He was waiting. He was having a bad day, you know, so uh, he was uh, saying maybe later. <laughs> but this place never closes right here on the left. Never has last call. You can get a drink there 24 hours a day. Napoleon? No. Um, deja vu. Oh, deja vu. Rouge a day. Yes, it's a good spot. You can get some food too and something to drink. But um, now Bourbon Street, we're going to head over to Bourbon Street. And, you know, Bourbon Street is not named after the alcohol. It's named for the royal family, the Bourbons, oh. who ruled France for a number of years. So you see a lot of our streets, they're named after French royalty. But it is fun. I mean, you can walk around here with a drink in your hand. You know, that's... That's perfectly legal. It's not against the law. And uh, yeah, you might see some people demonstrating that first. <laughs> you know, this early. Among other things. <clears throat> Among other things, right. <laughs> but uh, it's crazy here during Mardi Gras. Anybody been here for Carnival? Today, I think there's a Carnival today. Tonight. Super Sunday today. Oh, okay, with the Indians. Yeah, this the is... Indian costumes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that was delayed. That was rained out. Oh, okay. uh, you, you know, we were supposed to have it. Okay. And they might have it again. We might run into that this afternoon. Yes. But uh, they have to put petroleum, Vaseline, jelly on the poles over there by the uh, Royal Sinesta. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's to stop the men from climbing up the poles. <laughs> Yeah, those girls are flashing over there and showing it all. Oh, okay. And so what they do, they grease the poles down to you stop know. them from climbing so, up. So, a yeah. real liability issue. Molling Rouge or something like that. What's that? Molling Rouge. I don't know. Molan Rouge. Molan Rouge. Molan Rouge. Uh, yeah, oh, Molan Rouge. Yeah, Molan Rouge. Yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, um,. Yeah, in fact, it's on YouTube. If anybody wants to see it, it's on YouTube. Everything's on YouTube today. Sure. Just put the pulse enough to start greasing up the poles. Okay. Yeah, then it'll pop up. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, just yeah, Mardi Gras. Put Mardi Gras in there. But but this is uh, Mambo's right here. This is the only place that has a rooftop view of Bourbon Street and the surrounding area. Oh, this is Bourbon Street. Yeah, we're on we're on Bourbon Street. Right oh, okay. And it's got an elevator. You see, you don't have to climb up the stairs. Okay. Yeah, we ate there last night. Oh, you did? Yeah. Oh, what y'all have? Red beans and rice. Red beans and rice. Gumbo. Yeah, anybody have gumbo? Is there any is, is there any live music or something? Live music in the in the restaurant or bars? They they don't really have a lot of that anymore. I mean, okay. this is you know, of course, Bourbon Street. They, it used to be known for some of its so uh, gentlemen's clubs. That's yeah. what they call them today. Gentlemen's clubs. Yeah. Now, now look, we got Big Daddy's right here. We got the food scoop and rodeo. But you know, we brought people down here in the 1850s. It wasn't strip joints. Okay. It was opera. Opera. We went there. We yeah, the we had the first opera in America, right here. Look, oh, there's there's the sign. It's the French Opera House, right over there to the oh, Okay. And that's where the Creoles would come to attend the opera. That's where they would come to attend, you know, the Mardi Gras balls and the pageantry of Carnival. But unfortunately, it was destroyed by fire, 1919. And so, you know what happened? Bourbon Street died out for a while. But it did come back. It came back during World War II. This was a big Liberty Town for the GIs and the Navy personnel. See, a lot of those guys came here first before they were shipped out over there. You know, European Front, Pacific Front. But uh, yeah, be sure to come back to Bourbon Street. It's a lot of fun. It's not. Okay. Yeah, has anybody been on Royal Street? Royal Street's been compared to London and Paris for the antique stores, the art galleries. This is truly a delightful street to walk up and down and, you know, simply window shop. Got a lot of nice, nice restaurants and uh, they got art galleries out here. Yeah, Quarter Two Sisters is really good. It's right down the street, right here on the left. All you can eat, jazz, brunch, buffet. Okay. That, well, they got musical nice. entertainment there. That's it. Okay. Uh, quarter two sisters. Oh, quarter two sisters. About. Okay. Quarter two and then MS Rao, they advertise that in the Wall Street Journal. And they got fine jewelry, art. So yeah. it looks like it's kinda of like a museum almost. Yeah, but it's, it's, it's right in it, right? Yeah. 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 is on St. Peter Street. Yeah, we were there yesterday. Oh. You get the hurricane? Oh, it's yeah. when we started, yeah. Okay. Yeah. It got us, but yes. Is that a drink or what? That's a drink, yeah. It's made okay. with four ounces of rum, okay. four ounces of passion yeah. fruit mix. It's got an uh, orange slice and a cher cherry on the top. What place was that you mentioned? Uh, Pat O'Brien's. Pat O'Brien. Yeah, okay. it's got a good spot. In the Royal, Royal Street? Mm, it's on St. Peter Street between Peter. Bourbon and Royal. Okay. They have a doling piano bar that's fun. Yeah, yeah, it's always fun to listen to them. But we were French now, you know, we were founded by the French. The French did a good job of colonizing the place. You know what they did? They emptied the jails of France. <laughs> they got rid of all the crooks, the criminals, the pickpockets and prostitutes. And they sent them here. <laughs> kind of like what England did. To Australia. To Australia, yeah. right. Yeah. But it got expensive for France to continue to do that. So the King of France was under a lot of pressure politically to dump Louisiana, to get rid of it. And so he did. He gave it away. He gave it to his cousin, Senor Carlos III, Charles III, who was the King of Spain. So, Spain, okay. so yeah, if y'all ever forget when we were ruled by the Spanish Empire, it's actually real simple. You see these markers? They got them all around the French Quarter. And you see, that'll remind you of when we were ruled by the Spanish. Oh, that blue and white thing? 
Yeah, from 1762 to 1803. Mm. Yeah, you might remember. That's when those little 13 colonies on the East Coast, you know, those Americans, that's when they were separating themselves from England during that time. So when that was happening way over there on the East Coast, all this land in the center was under Spain's control. And we got to thank the Spanish. You see, they were, they were really good administrators. We had two big fires here, 1788, and then six years later, there was another one in 1794. And it, you know what happened? It destroyed all the early French buildings that were here first. You know, the wooden structures, the Caribbean, the West Indies structures, uh, that was all destroyed in the fires. So when the Spanish rebuilt the city for us, you see, they had strict fire codes. You had to build back with brick. So it's brick. <clears throat> you had to have terracotta roofing. You had to have firewalls between the buildings. You know, anything to retort a fire, slow it down. So yeah, you got to remember now as you're walking around the French Quarter, about eighty percent of what you're looking at is Spanish. Is Spanish? Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. <laughs> yes, you but, got it. Um, but then it gets really interesting. You know, this guy, Napoleon, he comes on the scene. He reacquires Louisiana back with the French. Oh, okay. So you see, now we're French again. Okay. But he didn't keep it. He needed some cash. So what he did, he flipped it right away. He sold it to those little colonies on the East Coast. <clears throat> yeah, he could have had his own television program today. You know, the father of flipping, the big flipper. Oh, yeah, the Wall Street Wolf or something. Yeah, the Wall Street Wolf. That's a good name. <laughs> but um, so, so he sold all this land to the little colonies. And you see, folks, that's when we became American in 1803. But I tell you what, it had to be really confusing to live here. We were Spanish. We became French again under Napoleon. But before we could even say, we, we, to Napoleon, he flipped it and sold us to the 13 colonies. So that was the beginning of social clashing because the Americans wanted all these Creos here to assimilate into the American way of life. And the, um, yeah, and the Americans wanted all these Creos to assimilate into their way of life. So that's why the city was divided in two for more than 50 years after we were bought. Everybody over here spoke uh, French, and everybody on the other side of Canal Street, you see, that's where the English-speaking people lived, over there on that side. So, uh, I yeah, did y'all go to Canal Street yet? Yeah. Well, you might have noticed that the street names do change. Okay. It's one name on this side, it's a different, it, bless you, it's a different name on the other side of Canal Street. So that was the dividing line. So, uh, yeah, yeah, you should have noticed that because it can get confusing if you're not aware of that. 